वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री टू सो इट इज़ गिवन दैट अ शेयर स्प्रिंग इज मेड बाय बॉन्डिंग द रबर एनुलस टू अ रिजिड फिक्स रिंग एंड अ प्लग व्हेन एन एक्सियल लोड पी इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द प्लग शो दैट द स्लोप एट पॉइंट वाई इन द रबर इज दिस डी वाई बाई डी आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टेंजेंट ऑफ गेमा एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस टेंजेंट पी बाई टू पाई एच इंटू जी इंटू आर For the small angle, we can write dy by dr is equal to this. Integrate this expression and evaluate the constant of integration using condition y is equal to zero and at r is equal to r naught. From the result, compute the deflection y is equal to delta. So you can see this is a fixed ring, clear, and that is bonded with rubber annulus, and this is the plug. when this there is a load p is applied on the plug this causes the rubber to deflect so what we have been asked you can see this is the y axis here it is given as y and r varies from this point so this is r at point r we have deflect deflection of y you can check it over here this is r at point we have our uh, uh, deflection is equal to y so given that uh, we have to find that this dy by dr so dy by dr change in deflection with respect to dr that is equal to tangent of gamma and that is equal to this in second part we have to find we will integrate this equation and we will find the constant of integration at this given condition and in third part you have to find y is equal to uh delta which is deflection of the plug so let's start with the solution now you can see that due to this force applied p there will be a shear force generated at a, at a radius of r so let this is the r clear so what we will let this is the r you can see this is r so due to this force their shear force will generate so shear force will be you know that 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 shear force is equal to load divided by shearing area so p is there and we know that this is a cylindrical work piece so shearing area will be equal to 2 pi h into 2 pi r into h where 2 pi is the circumference of this annulus clear and high h is the height so from here you will get this shear stress is equal to p over 2 pi r into h now we also know that shearing stress is equal to shearing strain into modulus of rigidity so from here you can get this shearing strain which is is equal to shearing stress divided by g which is modulus of rigidity rigidity now you know that shearing stress is this so you can put it in this clear so you will get the shearing strain so shearing strain will become equal to p divided by 2 pi r into h multiply by g so this will be equal to p divided by 2 pi h g into r so this is the sharing strain again if you take uh, tangent minus tangent you multiply minus tangent on both sides so tangent of gamma will be equal to minus tangent of p divided by 2 pi h g into r and this minus tangent of gamma that is given as uh, you i will show you that if you look at this figure so the slope of this this line clear so the slope of this line is minus tangent of gamma and that is equal to dy by dy by dr so rate of change of this deflection with respect to this r clear and that will define the slope so again that dy by dr is equal to minus tangent of gamma and that is equal to minus tangent of p over 2 pi h 
इंटू जी इंटू आर ओके अगेन इफ गेमा इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल इज स्मॉल एंड इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन दैट टेंजेंट ऑफ गेमा विल बी इक्वल टू गेमा सो बाई दैट वी कैन सी दैट दिस गेमा इज इक्वल टू पी ओवर टू एच सो दैट डी वाई बाई डी आर विल बिकम इक्वल टू माइनस पी ओवर टू पाई एच जी इन टू आर सो वी हैव प्रूव दैट दिस डिफ्लैक्शन डी वाई बाई डी आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट पार्ट आई विल शो यू दिस इज डी वाई बाई डी आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टेंजेंट ऑफ दिस यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज सो इफ गेम आई इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो इट विल बी दिस नाउ इन सेकेंड पार्ट इट इज गिवन इंटीग्रेट दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज गिवन ओवर हेयर and evaluate constant of integration at y is equal to 0 at r is equal to r not so what we will do we will integrate it on both side integrate equation 1 on both side we will get this if we integrate dy by dr and that will be integrate minus p over 2 pi h g into r so what we will get is that we will get this um uh, this will be equal to integral of dy and that will be equal to minus p over 2 pi h g into r into dr now this term will give you the diff- Uh, uh, deflection y and this y will be equal to you will take the constant outside the integral so p over 2 pi h into g and we will left integral of 1 over r into dr okay so y will be equal to minus p over and there will be definitely uh, uh, if you integrate it after integrating you will get constant of integration so integral of 1 over this term the integral of this term will be equal to ln over ln of r plus there is a constant of integration so constant of integration can be obtained we have given the condition that r is equal to r not so you can see at r is equal to r not y is equal to 0 so if this r become equal to r not which is given over here as well so you r is equal to r not so you can see at this point y is equal to 0 so we will put y is equal to 0 so we will put it in this equation so when you put it in this equation so y will become 0 and that will be equal to minus p over 2 pi h into g ln of r plus c so from here you will get c will become equal to c will become equal to p over 2 pi h g and uh, into ln of r so you have this equation again you have to put the value of c in this equation so you will get y is equal to minus p over 2 pi h g ln of r plus so at this point we have r is equal to r not so you have to put this will be r not So this kindly make a correction, not this one. Sorry. At r is equal to r not. So when you put, so this will be. So this c is equal to p into ln of r. So again, if you put it in this equation, so it will be instead of c, you have to put p into ln of r not over two pi h into g. now you can see p uh 
P P is common on here also P is common 2 pi GH so you have to take all the common things outside so P over 2 pi H into G and we will left with a minus ln of R plus ln of R naught okay so what you have to do is that again if this is equal to p over 2 pi h g and this will be equal to ln of r naught minus ln of r okay so note down this equation we will move towards second page so again i will write the equation from this y is equal to y is equal to p over 2 pi h g into ln of r naught minus ln of r okay so let me confirm it yes this is the equation now uh, in it is given that at r is equal to r i y is equal to delta you can see over here that at r is equal to r i clear so this deflection which is shown over here that is delta clear so we will replace this y with delta so we will get delta is equal to p over 2 pi h g and we will ln of r naught minus ln of r i so again p over 2 pi h g and this ln of r naught minus ln of r i is equal to ln of R naught over R i. Clear? So I will write ln of R naught over ln of R i. And this is the deflection at R i. So you have, if you have outer radius, inner radius, P, H, G, each and everything, so you can find this deflection at R is equal to R i. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section and also subscribe my channel if you are new to my channels. Thank you.